COVID has certainly exposed the weakness in the social safety nets, the fact that healthcare is linked to employment in the US, that it's hard to get unemployment insurance, particularly if you're a gig worker. We're seeing widespread increases in hunger. Uh, by one survey, nearly half the children in the US are going hungry by the end of the month. Mothers are struggling to get enough food to feed their families. I, I think it's really shone a light on how weak our safety net is and what an enormous problem that is. Indeed. One of the issues that had been focused on that was capitalism had, of course, raised so many people out of poverty, but it had also created a sense that the rich were getting richer, the middle class increasingly had become strained, although poverty was being reduced a lot, as I mentioned. So what do you think now has to change? I'm a huge fan of capitalism. I think it's one of the great inventions of the human race, uh, amazing productivity and innovation. But we forgot that capitalism has to be paired with real investments in what the economists call public goods, education, healthcare, access to good jobs. And so what we need to do is rebalance capitalism to make sure that the capitalists have the rules that will keep them honest and doing the right thing, and to make sure that everyone has a chance to get a good job and to participate. And by the way, that we don't uh, crash the planet. We need good rules to ensure that uh, firms behave in, in, a, in an environmentally responsible way. But uh, with firms now under enormous pressure, how do you think co corporate, the corporate world has behaved during this crisis? Mixed. Some firms have really stepped forward in a very impressive way. Others, not so much. There are a lot of firms under pressure. I think the good news is COVID is making clear to us just how stressed capitalism is. There's lots more appetite for a discussion about fundamental system change. And I think addressing some of these problems could be an enormous source of jobs. I'm a big fan of some sensible version of a Green New Deal. I'm a big fan of heavy investments in education and health to uh, help our inequality problem. And last but not least, I think corporations are increasingly coming to really believe that they have an important role in building a just and sustainable society. Do you really believe that when you look at some of the leaders around the world, Donald Trump, uh, Xi Jinping, um, you know, Vladimir Putin, do you believe that those kind of leaders have that kind of balance in mind? Uh, no, <laughs> I do not. That wasn't a leading question. <laughs> <laughs> do our Trump and Putin seriously balance leaders? Absolutely not. But, you know, before every major change, you see this. It's, it's like a swinging system, right? The system is swinging hard in some countries towards what I would call extraction a system that's run by the rich for the rich. And I think that very motion is creating the force and energy that gives us the possibility of swinging back the other way and electing politicians who are much more concerned about running a more balanced capitalism and a more balanced society. So when we see businesses emerge from COVID-19, there's going to be strain. You know, will that be their priority or will it be recovery and trying to claw back some of the, the revenue that they've lost? I'd like to believe that sometimes that that's the same thing. Uh, I write a lot about purpose-driven capitalism, and I write about the fact that it really can be very good for business, that trying to do the right thing for your customers and your employees can be a great source of revenue, enthusiasm, commitment, fantastic employees. And I think we're seeing that in this pandemic. When uh, it's still quick and dirty, the research is not yet finished, but it looks as those as if those firms that were really committed to purpose have done better over the last three months than their more conventional competitors. So I think we'll see some firms double down on doing the right thing and absolutely come out of the pandemic determined to rebuild society in a better way. I think your views would be very broadly shared by many people, especially those who've been suffering in insecure jobs, which has been really exposed during this pandemic. Great to talk, Rebecca. Thanks so much. Thanks, Beverly. Great to talk. Bye.